My name is Joe Devlin, and I'm a neuroscientist at UCL, and together with Patty Adonk and Rogue Resolutions, we run a two-day workshop for TMS for Cognitive Neuroscience. The aim of the workshop is that after two days, people will come in with no experience in the area, they'll leave with really detailed knowledge of how they can incorporate TMS into their own cognitive neuroscience research programs. My name is Jasmine. I became a part of the TMS lab for my dissertation project, so I thought learning more about the technique and how it's used would be useful for my own research. I am a clinical psychologist as a background, so I work with patients that have never used TMS uh, before, so that's why I'm here today. I was hoping to get help from experts in the field, and this workshop really helped because it was exactly like being in the lab with many people working with uh, TMS for, for many years. Being around people that use TMS as for their own research is a lot more helpful than just reading about it yourself because you can see the applications of it. And if you have any questions, because it is quite a thorough process, you can, you can ask them, they can go through things with you. Today we did the practical part of the TMS and I work uh, as a participant and also as an experimenter. One funny thing is that my threshold level was very high for the TMS stimulation and it was very hard to detect the primary motor cortex of my brain. What I have really enjoyed is being under the TMS and feeling the magnetic forces on me and how it's really frustrating to feel how it moves you without you. you. You are not in control on yourself. That's, re that's really fun. So what I've learned so far is mainly to do the experimental design and all of the considerations that you have to take when you're designing the experiment. There's so many different factors that you can include, the variables, and a lot of it to do with the safety as well, ensuring that your participants are willing and they're safe in the experiment. So in future, I just want to use the TMS to, uh, for, in a normal group of people and facilitate the bra brain area of middle prefrontal cortex to see how they do the executive function task, uh, whether uh, TMS has any effect on their performance or not.